what's up after a very long time welcome back to my channel this is something that i've been working on since quite some time now it's almost ready like it's about 80 percent complete so i thought i'll you know give a short update for you all you don't see the speedometer right away but i'm actually planning to get a speedometer so this is the part one wherein i show you the modifications that i've done and the modifications that i have planned for this bike so this bike is 2013 charisma r i chose the charisma because it has the perfect engine you know for it has a perfect engine both for off-road and uh, even if you want to like tour a short distance you can do that as well uh, you might have heard of people using the charisma r engine on the impulse 150 right so that's because it is a very powerful engine like it has superb grunt so if you change the sprockets a little bit i mean like <laughs> this thing like this thing is a killer dude you might be thinking i could have just bought a impulse and then you know put this engine on that bike or got an expulse for that matter so so frankly i don't want to spend too much on my bike i want to keep it really cheap really simple so that i won't be bothered about dropping the bike and stuff now that's one thing secondly expulse is going to cost about a lakh so this bike including the modifications and everything came up to around uh, 30 40,000. I mean, we'll get to that later in the next video. So that's why the Charisma R. I would like to tell you not to try and do the modifications by yourself. Just go give your bike. I mean, uh, if you have a good mechanic with you who's who's experienced with these kind of modifications, then that's a good thing. Otherwise, you know, just don't try stupid stuff and hurt yourself. So let's get to the modifications that I've done on this bike. And one by one, I'll show you what I've done and how I've done it. And probably in the next video, you'll see the bike complete. And if you have any questions at all, I'll be more than happy to help you out. So put it down in the comment section. I'll get back to you in the next video. Hmm, what do you think? Jeez, this building looks creepy AF. Ha, ah, cool. So, let's, uh, where should we begin? <laughs> I've completely taken off the front room, which was easily around like uh, 10 kgs. And I'm gonna get a plate here with the headlamp and all that this is speedometer cable uh, headlamp cable and then the speedometer wires fuel and all that and the next one is this mud guard my my camera died so put it there this so i'm recording on my phone hope it's hope it's clear so yeah we were talking about the mud guard right this is the flexi mud guard which I got from a local automobile store which is really flexible, doesn't break, even if we crash. So that is really important for an off-road bike. It's probably a little too long, you see there. So I'm gonna I think I'll probably cut it and we'll see where it goes. So coming to the second thing, there are some changes that I've done to the forks itself. There was an extension rod which I put inside the fork and made this a little so so what it does is it doesn't make the fork taller but it increases the travel of the suspension. So Charisma initially has about 2 inches of travel and now it's about 3 to 4 inches. So that's pretty good for off-roading. So moving back to the tank, tank is completely stock. It's in a really beat up condition which I will be refurbishing. I'll probably get a new paint on it. Then it's the exhaust pipe. The bend pipe was made as one piece from there to there. So it's a little shabby now and still needs some cleaning up to do. Obviously some grinding work and stuff. Uh, that is the KTM Duke 390 or Duke 250 muffler, silencer, whatever you want to call it. So that's been attached here. That's been welded onto the bend pipe. And pretty, that's pretty solid there. So even though this bike has self start, I've still kept the kicker because you never know like when it's gonna go wrong and you will definitely need the kicker. Coming down, so all these, and you see like all these panels have been ripped off and I'll be, I'll be putting back a few panels and a few won't be back on so look a little different so coming to these these are the himalayan foot pegs and the brake lever of course from the himalayan modified to fit the drum brakes so i'll be getting a new seat done on this so it'll make the bike look so that the, so the seat will be flat and looks pretty good on the bike the chassis was a little too long and it was pretty heavy on the back so it has dual shock absorbers at the back. I wanted to convert it to mono shock, but then I was not very satisfied with removing the air filter box and the battery. I kept the dual shocks like that only. So these shocks are from a CBZ. Bought it brand new. The old one was a little ruined, so I thought I'd just get a new one. CBZ, uh, it's pretty good. It's soft and nice. 
so what I've what I've done here so what I've done here is this was the stock mounting point with the, this is a stock mounting point and here and it goes here so this and this was a stock mounting point so in to increase the height of the bike I've welded a so I've welded another rod here which is welded properly into the chassis so there was a hole here in which the in which the bolt has been put and then welded on and don't really mess with that if you don't have knowledge because if it's not in properly it's not gonna hold it's gonna come off it's gonna break and you really don't want that happening while you're off-roading here I've got this clamp made which is similar to that but has four different sets of adjustment so as you go up the height of the bike increases by one inch the tube tires are really hard to repair you know like in case of punctures and all so this is a tubeless tire so I've kept the alloy stock for now I'll be changing that as well in, in some time basically that's pretty much so the front dome was easily around like 10 kgs you won't believe how so you won't believe how heavy the stock silencer and the pipe was I'm guessing it was easy like easily like 15 kgs like if not more this pipe and the silencer weighs much lesser it weighs around like probably 5 kgs so 10 kgs I've lost in the front 10 kgs on the silencer 5 kgs on the foot pegs the footrest and all that so the pulling and the thing footrest and probably a kg or something on the chain guards and a kg or two on the back as well so that's close to 30 kgs of weight reduction that makes this bike about 120 kgs you want to hear how the bike sounds with this exhaust That's with the DB killer on, so probably we'll take off the DB killer and give it a nice rev later. Uh, all these need to be grinded well, you know. Finishing touches need to be given, all these need to be grinded well, and I'm giving the whole bike for powder coating. Uh, the tank and all will be painted. The engine, engine casing, and everything else will be given for powder coating. Pretty dark outside. Um, I've got to head home because I don't have a light and I don't have anything on this bike. So I'll see you in the next video guys. Thank you for watching. Until next time. Bye bye. How the bike sounds with the stock exhaust?